Hey gang, this is John Newton, AKA Snap on John 100, and I'm back out with another couple of cook kits. This time I'm gonna make a coffee and make something for lunch. The rig I'm carrying today is the Hill People gear chest pack in tandem with a Condor 2 by Maxpedition. I've got two canteens, one on both sides. There's one, and here is the other. One of them is titanium canteen, the other one is a Nalgene military style canteen and both of them have titanium canteen cups and canteen lids. So let's check out the cookware sets. The two sets I have are both Esbets, as I said before. Um, both of them are considered solo sets. Um, I think this one for sure is, and I'm not sure about this one, I can't remember. I've had it a while. But anyway, I'll show them both off. Let's start with this other one. And they're both anodized aluminum, which conducts heat the best out of um, all the different cooking systems. And it's designed to work with fuel tabs. As you can see here, you put the fuel tab in that little spot and it burns fuel tabs and it's got a lid and fold out handles. It's 400 milliliters or a little over 16, or a little under, no, it's uh, 16 ounces. So this is how this one's designed to work. However, what I have done with it is I found if I put a an alcohol stove with a, a trivet in it, There's an alcohol stove here. I've got a measuring cup in it. This is a half an ounce, 15 milliliters. So that's how I use I use it to measure. But I found if I take a um, a spirit burner or alcohol burner and put a trivet on it, I can actually put this inside like this and this stump is not straight but I put this in like this and I can put this right on top and um, it burns like that now I'm just wondering this particular alcohol burner is an is a knockoff of a ever new titanium and it's got two levels of flame so I think this might work without it and I'm gonna try it that way you're just setting it right on top so I'm gonna try that without this and if it works it will and if not I'll try it with the trivet I know it will work with this okay so that's the one system and the other one is this bigger one also by Esbit anodized aluminum and it comes with a nice mesh step sack like the other one. And the lid is actually a fry pan or you can use it as a coffee cup. I've used it for both. And inside here I have a windscreen made out of carbon fiber. It's the same material that um, welding aprons are made out of. It works fantastically. You can um, it can be glowing, and then you can when you take the away from the flame, it's instantly cool, and you can just hold on to it. So it works great. The only deal is you've got to uh, carve little sticks and put them in the ground to act as a fence to keep it up in the air and away uh, and away from your flame. And so this one, I've got an actual Esbit stove. Esbit is a German company. 
and um, they've got one that's basically the exact same thing as the Trangia except for the it's got a little handle on the simmer ring so it's a little easier to um, put pick up and put on and I just keep paper towel around that just to keep from rattling so it insulates the two so that is the stand that's the stove stand the alcohol burner fits right inside there like that and then the pot which is uh, 18 milliliter or probably about uh, 28 ounces or so it's not sure conversion but it fits on there like this and then for a lid you can do that or you can also cook on it like this if you're uh, cooking something small or you're heating up some coffee or something so I'm going to be util utilizing both of these this one I've got set up with the spirit burner and the other one I'm going to use with a spirit burner but it's designed for a um, solid fuel tabs as but solid fuel tabs so I'm going to rearrange the fr the camera so that we can put this on the ground where it's flat and we'll try to cook something and we'll set this one up right here make sure that's level okay okay we're gonna start with the large one and I'm going to be making uh, noodles with tuna in it. So we'll utilize this one. And also I got a canteen system that you haven't seen, I don't think. And it's the entire canteen cup and titanium. That's a canteen, titanium canteen and cup and lid. This is my favorite setup of all time. Okay, so I'm gonna add some water. This isn't real scientific, but... alcohol to my stove or my burner so technically this is a burner this part is the stove okay hopefully I won't run out of alcohol I think I've got one I've got some more in my pack container of alcohol so I can utilize that too okay now I'll put this right in here and to light this I'm gonna use one of my fire batons it's kind of customized I got an extra thing on here This is something that uh, I have in my store, so um, really appreciate everybody's business. I also want to tell you I appreciate your comments and, and all your support. Uh, I love doing these videos, but it's super nice to read the comments and just kind of have a nice community with people. Let's see if I can get this in. All right, that got it. So that's now hot. And I will put this lid on here to act, or this pan to act as a lid to help speed up the burn time. Now the next one, 
like I said, I'm not gonna use this trivet. I'm gonna try, because this has two levels, the flame will come out this bottom one, I think, and I think it will work. I know an Esbit or a Trangia will not work without a trivet because it only has one level of burners. So I'll put that back in there so I don't lose them. Find a level spot for this one also. Okay, that's good. In this pot, I'm going to make coffee. So I'm just going to put that right in there like this. And my alcohol. Okay, that's working. Put this away so I don't lose it. Put the cap on there. Okay. I'll tell you, this thing is really handy. I keep this with me all the time. Okay, so now we got this going. So I'm gonna add coffee water to this. here so we'll just get that stuff all ready to go as you can see the um, stove did, or the burner did not work as I had planned so I'll show you I had to put a pot stand on it there the trivet you can see the trivet there holding it above the stove and And then I put the felt, carbon felt around it as a windscreen. And this other one is now getting ready to boil. So I'm going to add my noodles and I'm adding them without the flavor packet. So they're just the plain noodles. And I will go ahead and try to add those right now, I guess, on camera. Hopefully that was on camera. And let's see how the coffee water is coming. Yeah, it's hot enough too. So I'm gonna reposition the camera so I'm not holding it in my hand and um, add everything and finish this off. As you can see, I had to use a windscreen because it is windy. That's why I've got my extra mic on. Hopefully the audio will be good. But right now, the noodles have come to a boil. So I'm gonna take them off the heat. I'll put them right here. And I'll snuff out this flame. Here's what I like about this Esbit uh, versus the Trangi. It's got like a handle so you can, you know, hold it that way. 
So let me get my spoon and my chest pack. I got a spoon in here. Let's stir that up a little bit. Them get soft. And I'll take this away so you can see what I've got here. See the carbon felt? I can touch it. It's uh, it's fantastic material. Okay, and that is ready. And as you'll notice, I got the trivets holding it up. It wouldn't work um, without that trivet on there. So it just holds it up high enough to keep it off the burner. And let me put a couple of coffee packets in here. Put this in the coffee. This is still burning, so that's one of the problems with uh, one of these. You can't snuff them out, or I haven't figured it out yet. It sounds like it's trying to snuff itself out. And package of stevia. And I think that's put itself out now. Get this out of the way so it can cool off. Don't touch it. Okay. There's the other tuna packet. in there. Stir that in good. Now I'm going to drain off the water. Now, since I drained off the water, now I'm going to add the flavor packet at the end so I'm just gonna have instead of noodle soup I'm gonna have regular noodles and then you just make sure you stir that in good you get it mixed all throughout I really like the tuna added to it or beef jerky too okay and so what I'm left with is noodles and tuna like this instead of soup. And I'll see how my coffee turned out. There's my coffee. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this I'd love your comments as to the viability of these two systems I'm going for um, not ultra light but lightweight because I'm finding the older I get and the more problems I'm having with my feet and stuff I can't carry a huge amount of uh, weight on my back and so I'm just trying to pare things down so it's not quite as heavy so the choices here now between these two is the solo esbit and I found a way of using alcohol I don't care for the tablets because uh, they're too messy 
they soot things up and they're just, um, I think they're kind of inconvenient, but some people like them. And the other thing I had was this, and this might be a two person thing, one or two, I've always used it by myself just for one. Oh, delicious. Delicious. So both of these I'm using alcohol with. The third option I have is the heavy cover titanium canteen and canteen cup. That's still in the contention because this is my all time favorite system and it's a lot of it's just nostalgia of the using the G, USGI cup. Even though this is a titanium version of it. And before I forget, yeah, I got everybody's attention. The stoves were lit with one of my um, fire batons. You can get them with any size ferro rod you want, pretty much. And I put two skinny ones on here, but normally it comes with one big fatter one and um, your choice of, this is my favorite scraper, it's, tit it's uh, titanium. It is made out of carbide and then this stainless, this is tool steel so it, it works too but it doesn't have as long a handle so it's not quite as convenient for me. But anyway, um, you can take a look at these on my store. I appreciate it whenever you stop by. The website is www.wildernessselfreliance.com. And until we meet again, God bless.